Hi there, Sergi is here and welcome to Ludology. Today, we will be learning how to play Science Ninjas Valence Plus. This one was designed by Nathan Schreiber. He also designed the pictures, he also created the designs and he also published this game. This one is for 2-4 to four players ages 8 and above and it plays around 15 to 25 minutes so valence plus is a card game that uses simple math colors and cartoon ninjas to teach chemistry so if you notice we have cards like sodium potassium what's this oxygen carbon and other elements to teach chemistry so the theme revolves around creating molecules compounds using these elements and let them react with the other elements or compounds for that matter so how do you win the game so you win the game by creating creating compounds like for example creating halo carbon and collecting this amount of points six once you have 16 points you win the game so it basically you just create molecules or compounds so you have the base carbon disulfide and others so if you get 16 points you win the game so how do you play first okay this is how you set it up so there are cards laid out laid out okay, and that's a big board so you have here the element deck and then the discard pile is right over there it's just right on top of the element deck and that's how you set it up so first you give six cards to each player so six so get six cards there so you have elements and what you'll do is each player will have would be playing two phases so there are two phases in a game so the first phase is collect and the second phase is about building so collect so first turn is you have six cards so first turn you have four of uh, one of four options so first you draw so you just draw let's place the element deck here you just draw one card and that's it that's your collect phase or so if you don't want to draw or let's say for drawing if you have six you draw one if in case you only have two cards you still draw one but if you have one card left you can draw two so the minimum number you should have is three the minimum number of cards you should have in your hand is three if you don't have any cards in your hand you just draw three and that's it that's your drawing phase that's one of the four actions you could do during the collect phase second one is exchange that means let's say you have five cards and you can create a compound using these five cards you can discard all of them put them in the discard pile and then draw three that's another one so it's either second first one is draw second one is discard your hand and get three new cards the third option you can do is trade up now there are cards that there are molecules that contain these symbols actually it's just hydrogen sulfide and salt so let's say you have you've built this um compounds so what you'll do is just discard this one return it to the deck and you can get three new cards 
So instead of getting one, sacrifice or return this one, trade this card to get three new cards. The thing is, this one has a point. So you're just sacrificing one point. You trade one point to get three new cards. And the last one is react. So here, you should know the react symbol. So these are the molecules with the react symbol. So these three have the react symbol. So we have sulfuric acid, the acid, and water. So what you can do is choose one. You can only have one. Choose one to react to another to your compounds or to another player's compound and after reacting we just follow what happens here so if this one reacts with okay molecules carbonyl and it will show what will happen same thing with acid and same thing with this one so what will happen we have some examples over here let's say water Water will react to these four molecules. So if a player, if another player has these, okay, has this, uh, any of these molecules, let's say deadly carbonyl, let's say that player has a deadly carbonyl, and you have your water reacting to deadly carbonyl. So what will happen to deadly carbonyl? Deadly carbonyl will become water and carbon dioxide. So player having deadly carbonyl that player would now only have will now have an acid and carbon dioxide so this one will be replaced with these two so again this is this is where the action happens so you try to outwit or uh, react your molecule or your compound to someone molecule so this one after reacting with water will become this okay so you lose that player loses two points since this one has five and it was okay, replaced by three and zero so three points so from five went down to three so that's one of the reactions by water Another one is acid. Let's say acid and a base. So acid and a base. Acid reacts to a base. And what will happen to the base? It will become salt and water. So four points. Base in four points will become water and salt. You notice. After the react, acid reacting to a base. From four, four points it will become two points. So... It's all about thinking of what to do next. Same thing with sulfuric acid. So for sulfuric acid, it will react to the same. But it will give a different set of elements. Now, you can block someone's reacting compound by building a metal solid. So this one you can create this one to block okay to block someone's reacting molecule this is, this is just chemistry simple chemistry made into a game so that's the third one uh, the last one so the fourth one after reacting let's say you have reacted you get three more cards doing reaction you get three more cards and the more cards you have the more Element or the more compounds you can create. So you, after doing that, either one of the four, you now go to the second phase, which is building. So to build, you just add up all the symbols. You just know integers. So this one, if you want to combine this one, zinc and sulfur, so positive two and negative two will add up to zero. So this will create Gray, gray and green. So where, where is gray and green? Gray and green is... Let's look at the sample. Do we have one here? Gray and green. Yeah, here. We have a metal sulfide. So it will create a metal sulfide. So you have 
a three point element a uh, three point compound rather so you already have three points then you can still create one so this one oh no this one is great okay you can have hmm this i guess you can have you can do this so this one this one is another one two positive ones and one negative two so will give you zero so this will create hydrogen sulfide so where is hydrogen sulfide look at this one so we have a hydrogen sulfide so that's another point that's four points so in building you can create as much as you can as long as you have the elements needed to create that compound you can create as many as you can after that building phase let's say you still have cards in your hand you have to discard until you left uh, you're left with six cards so you end your turn with six cards you can have you cannot have more than six cards in your hand so you return this to discard pile that's it and then the next player's turn so what they'll do again they'll do either first turn they'll either draw exchange their um, hand trade one of their molecules to get three or react destroy someone else's uh, compound and then after that build add to zero or they can just match colors if you have problems adding up to zero you can just match the colors okay one thing this one um, comes with a rule or help to help you with some changes so this one this valence plus has a um, new mechanic and that is flipping so instead of using negative two so this one is just negative two for oxygen you can flip this one to make it positive six for sulfur that's for sulfur sulfur has two valences it could use negative two or positive six so you can create let's say this you can create this oh no no let's see hmm. Hmm. let's create so positive six so you should produce a negative let's have another one here set let's find negative okay here this one this one can create negative one negative one negative two and negative two for positive six that one will create red yellow and green red yellow and green let's see red yellow and green do we have some examples here red yellow and green i think we don't have any oh too bad doesn't have any here yeah <laughs> aha none but i think you can have the other one if you can have this yellow green and then gray two grays i guess yeah two grays yes I, i'm not sure it will create a zero this one will not create a zero let's see how will this work out okay so just find colors that matches that colors that match with these compounds and that's it that's how you do second phase after that next player so you do that until someone reaches accumulates 16 points it could be any of the molecules this one that player this player would have already would already have 11 points so five more points and that player wins the game and that's how you play valence plus it's a nice game to learn chemistry so it's all about playing combining elements to form compounds and using these compounds to destroy someone else's compounds to create a reaction so i hope you like this video 
Next time, we'll have another video next week. We'll have another video. Please subscribe if you like watching these videos and hit the like button. Again, this is Sir G and keep on playing games. Goodbye.